Jay, we're here with Rod Harrington ahead of the fourth round of the Speedy UK Open. Rod, three target plays in action today. How do you think they'll do? Well, you know, day three of this uh, Speedy High UK Open, and it's been the best ever. We've already had a nine data from uh, Gary Anderson yesterday, and as you said, Rob, target players are really playing well. The pleasing thing for me is Colin Lloyd beat the reigning champion and six time major winner James Wade last night. And it weren't that he just got over the line, it was the way Colin Lloyd beat him. This is the way Colin Lloyd used to play four or five years ago. Get in front of a player and just keep pressure, 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 leg on leg. And that's why Phil Taylor is so good, because of that performance in the darts. And that's what Colin Lloyd did. He took out a beautiful 91 when uh, James Wade had got back at him. Hitting that bullseye for me was the winning leg. Because James Wade, you could see him go deflated. Colin Lloyd was then on his toes and standing tall. And he went on. Normally, Colin, the last three or four years, gets in a good position and has been letting them go. But last night, he didn't. He just kept pound, pound, pound. And he's got a good draw today. He's playing the young man, Joe Cullen. Uh, there's not an easy draw in this, but there are easier draws. And so we're expecting good things from Colin Lloyd. And a, a lucky draw after that, if he wins, and he needs a good run in this, and if he does, I think that's going to set his year up. He's just drifted out the top 16, and there's no question, Colin Lloyd on his day is a top four player. Ex world number one, world match play champion, as we said before. So we're looking for big things for Colin Lloyd today, and his confidence is going to be as high as anybody in this tournament because of beating the reigning champion, James Wade.